Welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time we completed the basic. That's in case you were thinking about getting back up again, tree. Basic training. And we are now we're looking for the Nines Laboratory. If we can just find it also I'm looking for arrowheads and such. I forgot how to pick them up. Oh well. Well, well, well. So... Where are we going? I'll most likely record at least a few episodes of this at a time, so... The next episode won't start from the loading point but rather right after I end. Hmm. Okay, so there's a map somewhere. And we were going There. As soon as I get past this walkway. Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. Oh, what's the Hey, it's the king yeah. of the obstacle course! Hey, Rez! You're awesome! You must be a psychonaut by now! Yeah! Or even a double psychonaut! Oh no, not yet. But soon. Wow, those two are so nice. Oh. Well, I feel like they're gonna yep. bomb me. Yep. Uh, what was I saying again? What are you guys doing up here? Uh... Writing cheers! Oh yeah! Writing cheers! Wanna hear one? Uh... Okay. Ready? Okay! When I grow up... Hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best! Just like my main homie! And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind-reading psycho-thriller! Oh, you must mean Rasputin! Yeah! Rez! Go Rez! Woohoo! Yeah. Could have been worse. Okay, this doesn't have fall damage. Good. Is there something? No. Hmm. This way to Lake Oblongata. This way to the main lodge. Was it this way then? Yes. Yes, it was. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Yep. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to say. Hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. Sakes alive! Well, nice knowing you. Huh. Hey, you guys sound great! <laughs> Much obliged, partner! Well, I'm cute to know that people have to... 
rastamas. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> eh. Wasn't that great of a punchline? Saw it coming miles away. So. Who's running around? I can hear the footsteps. Other than me, of course. Uh, so I thought I was stuck. You wait, just a squirrels. Huh, I didn't think they'd make that much hey, noise. Hold still, I'm gonna read your squirrel brain. Hmm. Warning geodesic psycho isolation chamber this way. Stay out. Anything to collect? Wait. Well, not the place where I wanted to go, but sure, I'll check this out. And I think I'm done checking this place out now. <sighs> Let's go and see Shasha. Yes, I can soon get the dousing rod. That's I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I thought, oh Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly! And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. Hmm. Dogen sounds uh, like. Hey, Dogen, I got a secret for you. Nils. Hey, not fair. Whispering is so rude. What did he tell you, Dogen? Hey, Elka. Why don't you and your little goggles go poke around in someone else's private business? Eh, she seems a bit obsessed. Oh no. Oh no, do I per actually need to do some platforming here? Hmm, after I collect these, that's the end. I'm putting my foot down. Okay, maybe those two were there, but. 
Also, a bear. Hey. Ow. Fine. Damn, I can't grab it. Can I get over? Mm, my depth perception fails me. Okay. Can't get over there. <sighs> Have to use the front door. And who's here? Hey, is anybody? Ah. Thanks. I thought I was gonna have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psychoisolation chamber. Oh man, cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a sick sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. While and cooler, perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! I mean, I did see a bear, but... Seems like I can't tell him about it. Also... Let's pick up these while we're at it. And... Either we... Go through there or... We find some other. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Yeah, about that. How did I open the menu again? There. No? Good. <laughs> and on we go. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Oh. Is that the cleaning lady? I'll get those files out of your way just so what are we as gonna soon learn? as I'm done Bending with spoons, these burning stuff? tests. I left stuff up there. I'm gonna get it. What else did I miss? That. And <clears throat> I think there's nothing else. Ah, yes. Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. Eh. I don't need any more of those. <sighs> Time to. Start the advanced training. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? Yeah, sure. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. 
Of course it's not gonna happen. Why would anything ever go wrong? Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. So, in short, this is a level select. Do we know who these are? No, not yet. And we can see if we've collected all of the collectibles. The emotional packages. Um, can't remember what the... Bottom right one was, was it figments? Maybe. And then there are the cobwebs. Hmm. But yeah, this game has few levels. <clears throat> Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta get all. And... Nope. Sasha, uh, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Come on. Good. And then there was the... Yeah, I missed all take it all already. Come on. Stop. Stop. Good. And Rasputin's getaway. Circus act. And someone gave us the pamphlet. Then our father tore it down and we escaped on a tiny horse. Or was the goat? Oh well. And I think there's nothing else here. Oh, yippee! I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Oh. Uh oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. I feel like. Aha! Yeah. <clears throat> Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! <sighs> Unfamiliar entity. 
I'm not sure if I need to activate this or not, but I'm doing it just in case. Also, this place has a lot of pigments. Come on, come on, I need everything. Also, why are the arrowheads here? Come on. Hmm. Well. This seems like a odd psyche. Aha. Uh -huh. I just need to keep finding those bags. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Hmm. Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Uh, sure, I think I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Um, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and <laughs> snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million. I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Uh. So nice. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Cruller? Or somewhere else? Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is the fast traveling system. Towards, I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Huh. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. Um, hmm. <clears throat> so, let's start asking some hard-hitting questions. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. 
Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. So that's why you are doing all that stuff and going crazy upstairs. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sasha's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can Cyblast blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Cyblast? blast No, oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. And what are you doing here? So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. But not the... The trainer guy. God damn it. I, I forgot his name. Oh well. But he doesn't go on missions. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the up and beneath us. You should go familiarize. Okay, nothing new then. So, let's go. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Mm hmm. Well, I guess it's time to return to Shasha, but. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? And ah, actually, let's try this one. Nowhere. I just like to come down here to hear your voice. Pop in any time, sir. And back we go. Where would you like? Agent Nine's lab, please. With pleasure. Well, I guess this will do for one episode. The next episode will do Nine's training. And hopefully, we'll start to uncover the mysteries of this. Well, kind of cursed place. Until uh, then, bye bye.